Hello everybody! So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft Bedrock resource pack in 2025. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But once you're here, all you need to do is simply go to your search box and search up Bedrock Samples, like so. Once you've done this, you should see Mojang slash Bedrock Samples. Simply click on the GitHub website. And then here you will have a list of all the Minecraft Bedrock resource packs you can download. Here we are interested in the latest. So the pre-releases is Minecraft Preview and the latest is the normal Minecraft version. So we will just be using 1.21.50 for this example. So once you found the Minecraft version you want, simply go on the assets and simply click on the source code zip. Once you click this, it will automatically download the Minecraft resource pack. Now this is just a Minecraft resource pack with all the default assets which you can change after. So I will show you how to change the assets in the default Minecraft Bedrock resource pack. Okay, so once we're done with downloading our Minecraft Bedrock resource pack, we can close our web browser. We won't be using it anymore. And here, all you need to do is go to your downloads folder. You can do this by going to your file explorer and going to your downloads folder. Now, once you found your Bedrock Samples resource pack, what you want to do here is actually extract it. And the way you do this is simply by right clicking on the zip folder. And here, just go and extract all. You might have something like 7-zip or WinRAR, use their methods of doing it. But if you see something along the line of extract, Click that and now just do extract. So once we're done extracting the folder, it can take quite a while, but if you go back to your downloads folder, you will have a folder here called Bedrock Samples. So all you need to do here is simply go into this folder and go into the other Bedrock Samples folder. And here you will see everything you need to know. Here you have a behavior pack and here you have a resource pack. So what you want to do here is simply copy the resource pack folder. And you want to go back to your downloads folder and you want to paste it. Now it's going to paste every single resource pack file into your download. So it makes it easier for you to edit the different assets in this pack. Okay, so once we're done with the resource pack, if we go inside the folder, we see here we have everything we need to make this a resource pack. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you some different changes you can do. So to begin, you can change the pack icon. Now this will just be a Minecraft icon and you can change this. You can change this by using any photo editing software. But for example, if you use like something like paint.net or paint, I'm going to take paint.net. You should know what to use if you want to edit your photos. And I change this to black and white and I save it. Well, now what's going to happen is that the picture called pack icon, it has to be called pack icon.png for it to show up in Minecraft, will now be black and white. You can also change manifest. And if you go here, this is the actual name of it. So here we have the name of the resource pack in the description. So if I call it resource pack tutorial, and I change this to reverse Steve, and I name it again reverse Steve here, like so. And we, if we save it, we will now have the name and the description saved. Now, here we can see we have UUIDs. Now this is quite important, especially if you make multiple packs. And what you want to do here, now this is not necessary if you're just doing one of them, but it's actually go to UUID generator. So if we just go to a web browser real quick and simply go on UUID generator, you will be able to see a UUID generator. And this is something which you can just copy and you can just paste it in here. Now it has to be different from the top to the bottom. 
So just refresh, copy, and paste it in the second one like this. That's something that works as well. So just save that and we'll just close this. Now this is only if you do like multiple packs and use the same pack and edit the same pack with other things. And to show the pack working, what I can do is simply change the, well, texture of a specific block. So if we go to textures and here we can see all the blocks we can change. And if we go, for example, on blocks, we have a list of every single block that we can edit, which is all the blocks in Minecraft Bedrock. So if I take something like a diamond block, like so, and we can see diamondblock.png, and I want to edit the diamondblock.png, all I have to do is simply sort by name, and then we can go down alphabetically until we find diamond block, and we'll be able to copy, change the picture, on the diamond block itself. So here we can see we have the diamond block and if we want to change it we just put like our photo editing software I'll just put paint.net in the description if you want to use this and I will make it black and white also why not and if I do save as PNG we now have a black and white diamond block. Now you can of course change this to your liking you can change everything in Minecraft you have textures, here you have the items themselves, you have a lot of things you can change. But, for example, let's say we have everything we want, and we want to make this resource pack. Well, the way we do this is simply by selecting all the files we want. You don't need all these. If, for example, I can delete sounds if I want, because we won't be having any different sounds. But let's just say you changed everything, and you want all this to be saved in Minecraft. Just select everything. And then right click and then compress to zip file. Now it's gonna start zipping everything into a nice and simple pack of modified assets that you will be able to change the .zip name to MC pack and then be able to play this modified version of Minecraft into the actual game. So now we have a zip file here. And what we can do here is simply select it and we can rename it and we have to rename it to MC pack for it to insert to Minecraft. Like so. Now it's called sounds.mc pack. We can rename this to tutorial.mc pack. And now we have an MC pack. So if we copy it and put it here, we now have a modified pack. So all we need to do here is simply double click it or you can give it to someone else using, you know, send it and send it to other people. And here you will be able to play your edited Minecraft. So, first of all, let's just wait for the pack to be imported. Here it is. And here we can see our black and white picture. And to use it, all you need to do is simply go to settings. You need to scroll down to global resources, my packs, and select the pack that you want to edit. Here you can see pack tutorial, we receive and activate. Now all you need to do is simply go back to the home screen and then we can go to a world to test out our pack. So we can go to play and we can go to tutorials, whatever. And then we just need a diamond block and we should have a different colored diamond block. Like so. Now we have a black and white diamond block texture. So yeah. Honestly, it's that easy to have your custom textures in Minecraft. So, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!